Hey everyone, it's Madison Josiato. I don't know about you, but I've been super disturbed to see and hear some of the stuff I've been hearing uh, when it comes to the dialogue on race and racism. And one of the things I've seen online was a tweet that actually went viral saying, reminder that racism is prejudice plus power. Therefore, you cannot be racist towards white people because white people have always had control in this country. Uh, the girl making the tweet goes on to talk about how white people can be stereotyped, but they can't experience racism, which is obviously just ignorant. But what's crazy about this tweet is that over 33,000 people shared it, 133,000 people liked it, which means that people are actually giving credence to this line of thought, which is ridiculous. Of course, we look at the definition of racism, we go to you know places like Merriam-Webster Dictionary saying, a belief that race is the primary determinant of human traits and capacities and that racial differences produce an inherent superiority of a particular race. So whether you're a white person who thinks you're better because you're white than a black person, or you're a black person who thinks they're better because you're black than a white person, it's still racism. That's what we're trying to eradicate. We don't want to see racism in our country at all. And it's really sad that we're seeing it. And we may be seeing it more one way than the other, but we need to call it out every time we see it. I mean, you, you, you may or may not have already seen this horrible video um, of an attack on a Macy's employee simply for him being white. Now, the attackers tried to say he used the N-word, which we know he did not, considering that the attack is on Macy's surveillance video and on an internal audio recording, uh, which Macy's has you know, given to authorities. Uh, the man has been charged, but I mean, this is still racism. We don't want to see this. And we're seeing now racism in the opposite ways from a governmental perspective, which I think is really concerning, uh, especially when it's in the context of coronavirus. So in Oklahoma, there was a policy put in place mandating masks, similar to what we've seen across the country, but they said that black people don't need to follow the policy and they're excluded from the mandate. Of course, they end up reversing this, but the fact that this was ever put in place is ridiculous. As a nation, we want to come together and we want to eradicate all racism, which means none of this should be acceptable just like a lot of the racism that we've seen for many years against black Americans that I've talked about in the past is not acceptable. We need to come together to get rid of this together. We can't see racism, call it out, and then engage in racist behaviors on the opposite side to try to overcompensate for the racism that we've seen. That's not okay. That's not how we're gonna solve the problem. So while many people are online engaging in this very uh, misinformed dialogue, we need to be stepping up and doing better and making sure that people are being informed uh, and that we can solve this problem.